Let's find the greatest common factor for 30 and 45. Here's how we do it. First off, greatest common factor. Sometimes that's called the greatest common divisor or the highest common factor. I like greatest common factor myself. So what we need to do is find a list of factors for 30 and for 45. So the factors for 30, 1 times 30, that equals 30, 2 times 15, 3 times 10, and I think 5 times 6, those are the factors of 30. For 45, we'd have 1 times 45, 3 times 15, that equals 45, and then let's see, 5 times 9 is 45. So now that we have the factors of 30 and 45, we can compare them and find the greatest common factor. So 1, that's a common factor between 30 and 45, but do we have something greater? 3, that's greater. How about 5? Is there anything larger than 5? Looks like 5. That's the greatest factor that goes into both 30 and 45 evenly. So in answer to our question, the greatest common factor for 30 and 45, that's 5. You could use other methods to find this, like prime factorization, but for numbers of this size, this works pretty well. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.